Well, it's December 14th. It's around 6.30 a.m. It's a nice 43 degrees. I'm at the Adams Gap Trailhead. There's a couple of people look like they've been here overnight already. <clears throat> I start over there. I'm going to be taking the Pinhoti all the way up and up there about six, eight miles before I stop for the day. And then hopefully tomorrow morning I end up back here. I'll try to bring you along when I can. Bye. Okay, I don't know if this is working or not, but I think I'm gonna bring you along for a little bit. I'm, uh, it's a little after eight. I just got done with a, uh, maybe a 15 minute break over there. So I wanna see if uh, this thing actually works. I never used the GoPro before. I don't know if you can see that blue paint on the tree, but that's what I'm following. When I get to the uh, stairway to heaven with a little H, there's uh, blue paint to follow there also, but about halfway through it, I think they just said, ah, heck with it, you guys are on your own. So I'm going to film for a few minutes and I'm going to turn this off until we get to the stairway. And just see how well this thing works. I want to do want to have a little bit of footage for the uh, YouTube channel. little hills are what get you or get me I gotta stop seeing you and it's more me to learn that a long time ago but I enjoy being out here it would be fun to have somebody to go with, but it's kind of hard to find somebody who walks as slow as I do, unless he's an 80 year old guy who just had a hip replacement. Back in the day when I used to do marathons, I uh, would find the oldest guy I could and uh, run with him because he had the pace that I needed but then I beat him at the end <laughs> I'm about to let an 80 year old guy beat me um, there's one of the campsites that are along here I think there's about three or four of them, and they're nice places, depending on which way you're going. The Pin Hody Trail that I'm on goes 320 miles, I think. It's the actual southern start of the Appalachian Trail. So, when I do my Appalachian Trail hike, I haven't, you know, I haven't totally gotten rid of the idea of having somebody drop me off, walk into Pinhody, to up to the Appalachian Trail uh, starting point. Figure if I'm gonna do 2,000 miles on that, what's another 300, right? And a 
it's kind of flat. Well, not the last time, but a couple times ago that I was here, this place was underwater. This stream had all kinds of water flowing, but the past couple times I've been here, there's no water, and I'm probably I'm about I got about three liters of water on me. That should get me to turn a seat by the end of the day. Where I'm going to stop. It's turn of seats at least three, five miles from here. Not really uh, too far mileage wise, but once you see when I get to heaven, lower H, or stairway to heaven. You'll see what I'm talking about. Okay, well, these leaves are slippery. So I'm going to, but there's a, see, see that paint on a tree? I don't know if I can, I'll get, I'll turn it off when I get there. Should be able to see the paint. I'm turning you guys off. These leaves are slippery. I'll turn you again on. Turn you guys on again. When I get to he stairway to heaven. The lower H. Out. Okay, I'm still in the stairway to heaven. I don't see that blue on that tree, but I still got a long way to go up there. It's a little after 10. I just came from that away and all the way down. A lot of the secrets you can see that blue paint and sometimes if you don't see blue paint in front of you to look for a blue paint behind you but my trouble is here I'm sure they ran out of blue paint and said okay guys you're on your own so I'm gonna put this away for now I think that's the pearly gates right up there so I'm getting closer so Let's hope for the best. Out. Okay. I got to heaven but the wrong way. And I'm heading to the Turnip Seat Campground. About three hours. Or three miles from here. And I got four hours to do it. I got lost. In the stairway. But I got to heaven but it wasn't the right way. Man, I am feeling it. Like an American ninja. Some places. But, oh well. I'll let you know when I get to purgatory. Okay, I'm in pet purgatory. Uh, we'll see how it goes. It's two miles to the... Uh, campground where I want to be it's a little after two 
So I got two hours to do two miles. And uh, this is where I fell the last time. So I don't know how well it's going to go. But we'll see. It was a pain to get here. I didn't. I'm going to shut it off for now. It might be kind of tricky for me. Try to keep this steady. So we'll see how it goes when I get to the. Get off the hill a little more. Okay. I'm going to. We're getting close to the bottom of purgatory. Still quite a ways to go, but I'm going to give you a taste. Hopefully, you got some idea what I've been going through all day. You're going down, but I got less than two miles to the campground, so hopefully I make it there before it gets too dark. It's almost 2:30 now. I got two hours of daylight, so. I should make it another 45 minutes or so. I'm moving a little better going downhill. But who knows? The important thing is I got plenty of water and food to the, to the night if I don't make it to the campground. I'm going to shut you guys off again. Okay, I'm almost out of purgatory. Somebody put the red tape. I hope I can find more to try to get the trail. If not, I gotta pull out the map. But I'll keep you on for a couple minutes because it seems like most of the bad parts are gone. I really had to pay attention to what I was doing. But yeah, I'm almost out of there. And then I got to find the stream that had the water in it the last time I was here. And then the campground was just a couple hundred yards from the stream so maybe I'll be lucky okay I'm gonna turn you off so if I get lost you guys don't know about it okay my uh, campground is about a hundred yards in front of me but this is a good place for me to stop because I got a uh, unauthorized fire pit but by the look of it I think it's pretty good but anyway I'm going to get dinner going get my tent set up and uh, get dinner I'm really kind of hungry now okay I'll catch you later maybe I can get some fireside pitcher pitchers well it's 5 30 my fire didn't take too well they uh all the woods wet from the rain yesterday so I'm just gonna fire up the old alcohol stove and uh, pretty soon get ready for bed I can't you know it's five o'clock I can 530 I can't see nothing so I might as well sleep definitely gonna take a couple Motrin because man I'm feeling I'm gonna fill it tomorrow catch you tomorrow bye